This is Paul, and you are watching Factory 78. Bang. <laughs> I go by Po, spelled P-O-E, Ladi Po to some. I call myself Nigeria's very own. For me, music started in a way that was unexpected. I was not one of those people that at nine years old or 10 years old was rapping or reciting lyrics or doing anything like that. It hit me one day in, in I was in university, a friend of mine played a beat. I liked the beat and I just begged him, can you please leave it with me overnight? I came back and I wrote something to it. From the day that happened, this, obsession slash love affair slash whatever it just never stopped so i'm here today because of this moment my affiliation with stc is one of brotherhood they are my family and um they were the first people in the in nigerian music industry to to notice not the first but one of the first that noticed what i could do and they unselfishly put me on a platform and pushed me out there and now i'm taking it further you know, doing it beyond what they probably expected and trying to take it as, as high as we can go. But I am Po. I'm my own artist and I'm going to continue to push boundaries. Um, my most popular project so far, um, I haven't released a personal project of mine, but that's going to change in 2016, Lord willing. And um, I worked on a project called The Collective with a bunch of very, very talented individuals. Timmy Dollface, Icon, Fumbi, SDC, Kid Connect, Insikak. And we dropped like, I think, in fact, rated by most people as one of the best albums of, was it 2015, really? It, it has a lot of songs, including one of my songs uh, called Adoha. But um, beyond that, I think the best project is yet to come you know and that's the next one coming out this year so look out for that the collective is a group of individuals they are keyword individuals but they're united by a common vision that you know if artists of our caliber can come together we can amplify the noise that we make you know we we all make great music individually so we thought to ourselves we already know each other on a personal level even outside of music we've worked with each other in different capacities so why don't we just you know do something so that's how it started and it became something special now as for its place in the nigerian music industry like with most things that are ahead of their time you know it, it takes people a while to catch up uh, but it's interesting to see the look on their faces when they discover it for the first time and the excitement that they feel so i'm looking forward to it becoming something bigger than it it is and something that we we know it to be a lot of times things that are dope, it takes a while for people to shift to it. And I think that's what's happening with the collective. Right now, Poe is unsigned and independent and making his way through the industry. But he's doing a good job of it. And um, more to come. What's the rap game like? The rap game in Nigeria or in general in Africa is wide open. I think every day there's dope rappers, every day, every day there's new rappers, if you go on blogs, they're constantly coming out. But at the same time, when anybody goes online and says, you know, throw up your favorite rappers, uh, do all these things and do all that, I'm, I'm grateful to know that my name is always mentioned in, some, in whatever capacity. And not only that, I mean, the people who call themselves the top rappers in the game constantly, you know, are reach out to me to work with them on projects. So that, to me, says a lot. Um, and it means that I'm, I am definitely... at the, Dropping my project at the right time. That's how I feel. My favorite rappers in the my favorite rappers in the African game. Wow, I like that question. Um, I'm a big fan of certain rappers. Some you know, some you don't know. I'm a massive fan of um, Am I? I am because. I have to mention him because when I first started rapping in Nigeria, he's one of the first rappers I heard, and it made me feel like the nigerian caliber of rap is actually really high um ghost from sdc tech from sdc mojid um i like mojid i like el did we say nigeria if we didn't say nigeria i like el Afri i like el el is el is amazing sako is i don't know how to describe sak so i'm going to leave it but sako is there el is there uh damn i like casper new vest what I like about that guy is his swag. I like, I like the image. He's, he's creating a culture around the music because it's not just about the talent and the music. It's the culture as well. There's a few others. I like Reminis. Oof. Rem, Baba. Uh, who else? Hmm. That's all for now. <laughs> to the ones that I missed, it's all love. It's all love. It's all love. I'm just saying.
Uh, I did this song, uh, Marry Me, with three very talented individuals. Um, one is Sparks. He's the, he produced the track. Uh, I call him classic. Uh, Fowls. <sighs> Fowls. Actually, Fowls is in my previous list. Uh, and Yemi Alade. I think they brought very unique aspects to the song. And it was a big hit because of the topic. I mean, we picked a topic that was real. It was funny. And we put it in a funny way, but it was very real. And that's the kind of music that we make. You know, we make music from things that we see. And um, yeah, Marry Me, it had to be a big hit, you know. You know, so yeah. The the people that follow my music, I love my music, kind of gave me the title. I first talked about this a couple of years ago when I dropped a track called New Era. And I said, I'm going to drop a mixtape. I was excited. I had not made any tracks in the studio. But I was just like, I'm dropping a mixtape. It's going to be called Talk About Poe. Now, since then, they've been reminding me since that time that where is the tape? Where is Talk About Poe? So I feel like I have to call it Talk About Poe now. So, yeah, the tape will be probably called Talk About Poe. Um, if you want to stay connected to POE, to Poe, and join the movement, it's L-A-D-I-P-O-E on SoundCloud, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat. Join the movement. Honestly, couldn't have done it without you guys. And I, your support is always, you know, amazing to me. So shout out to Factory 78. Shout out to DJ Larry. Shout out to Adisha where, you know, we get it. This is how we do it. <laughs>